On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name uh, Saturday the day when uh, some of the ones and ones them um, traverse the church. So happy Sabbath to all uh, Sabbath keepers. Please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run. So for sure, we definitely need that now more than ever. And to all of the ones and ones them um, traversing to the market district, you don't know if you get a little onion, skeleton and time for deal with the soup at proper a certain type of way bless upon yourself same way and to all of the ones and ones them traversing in the streets going about your regular business continuously be cautious continue to look out on the corner yeah, because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts <laughs> yeah man may i tell you so right and now we are gonna kick it off with some decent spatter work put on by the squaddy and the soldier them in the streets so the first thing that we are gonna talk about is some firearms that was taken off our country's streets so watch this now members of the giant anti-gang task force seized this smith and wesson pistol with 10 rounds of assorted ammunition during a targeted raid over there in the st catherine north police division yesterday march 31st so well done to the squad of them the next firearm on your screen over there in st james a Glock pistol with 12 rounds of ammunition was seized by the SWAT team working as a part of the giant anti-gang task force. Of course, I don't know, say, members of the Jamaica Defense Force is a part of that too. So all of that took place during a targeted raid in St. James on Thursday, March 30. Points to note, a suspected gang member was arrested in connection with that seizure. I don't want to forget about the chapstick here you know, because we are come right back to the very gun here with a whole story around its finding. Yeah man, so stay tuned. And the next decent spot of work took place over there in Lilliput, St. James. Another fine again by the SWAT team. All of this took place also on Friday, March 31st. During a series of targeted operations in the area, the team sees what is on your screen, 53 rounds of ammunition in an abandoned premises in the area of Lilliput. So we are going to get back to the meat of the matter. We are going to get back to the Glock there. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So watch this now, my peeps. This old dirty corner boy here. Yeah. Presently on your screen. This old scum of the earth. A sorry excuse for your man. Yeah, man. This boy here yeah, commit a whole heap of murder. A whole heap of atrocity. A whole heap of family. A whole them belly and a weep and moan due to the loss of their loved ones. Even though some of them loved ones too. Are some old criminal elements are decent cancellation go on right there so but anyhow this criminal element are presently on your screen has since been identified as 27 year old akeem reed of big lane central village in saint catherine he has been arrested and charged for possession of a prohibited weapon and ammunition the very same Glock pistol that me showed no earlier and tell no say we are gonna get back to the Glock pistol there had a nasty boy own. Yeah man, he was charged following an incident in Rosie Lane in Kemshot District in St. James on Thursday. The Montego Bay Police says that sometime about 5.35 p.m. Lawmen were on patrol in the area when
when Reed ran up and seen them. The lawmen went in pursuit of him and a magazine allegedly fell from his pocket. The police says that he was also seen throwing a firearm which was later retrieved. They say that the firearm was this Glock pistol presently on your screen, a Glock 19 pistol and a magazine containing 12 live 9mm rounds. Reed was taken into custody where he was charged. Squaddy, why? 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 Poor, that's all me can say. I won't finish the statement, but Squaddy, why? This boy I forget dirt. Yeah, man. This brother, you know, is also wanted by the St. Catherine South Police Division. So for all of the ones and ones them from out a big lane in a central village, you know, know this criminal element here and know say a whole heap of things that boy you are going with. Him criminal underworld name in a central village is known as Sparta. So I'm pretty sure the ones and ones them probably are wonder. How him reach a mobile if him originally come from Central Village? Well, me can this part tell you know, the exact reason why. So the reason why him left Big Lane in a Central Village is because he was involved in a double knockings and clappings that claimed the life of two men in February of 2021. Let me give you know, an exact date. February 27 of 2021 he was involved in the knockings and clappings that resulted in the last life of two men one identified as kevin tolok and the other identified as javan nugent he was also a member of the bronx gang in central village so shortly after him and him friend them do the dirt in a central village and clap with them two youth them take with himself and go and mobile and of course mobile criminal elements them welcome him because them not understand or them not see say Mantigo beer is cursed as it is them have enough dirty kind of boy down there but I guess them want more pan more so basically them just willing to take in any old criminal element from anywhere under them wings to continue the bloodletting in Mantigo Bay and surrounding areas in the parish of St. James so watch this now my peeps in yesterday morning's vlog I made mention of a security guard who end up losing three pints by the hands of criminal elements over there in Montego Bay, St. James. I played this video clip presently for you so you know, could I really see and understand what really went down. Now the police have identified the security guard that lost his life in that brazen knockings and clappings. He has since been identified as 56 year old O'Neill Wilson, otherwise known known as Wilcock in the streets. He's of a Hermitage district address in Betteltown, Westmoreland. The Freeport police says a motive is yet to be established for that knockings and clappings. The police reports says that Mr. Wilson, that is 56-year-old O'Neill Wilson, was on the job at Wagon Wholesale located along railway lane when about 4.20 p.m. a man armed with a handgun entered the establishment the man opened fire hitting wilson before escaping in the area on foot the police was summoned the scene was processed and mr wilson's body was removed to the morgue for post-mortem examination now that criminal element that carried out that brazen attack was captured on camera so we zoom it as best as we possibly could to present it to you, the regular members of Chan Public, in high hopes that somebody can identify this criminal element and definitely give the information to the police. And as always, if you not trust the police, link the soldier them. And if you not still not trust them, link on the spot news media. And if you not rate on the spot news media like that, no problem at all because the whole movement is not about ratings. The whole movement is to get criminal elements off the street. So, if you don't want to give another like-minded blog of the information, we're good with that too. We just want to know so the information drop in at the right hands and it can be passed on to the relevant authorities. We get these criminal elements, them all dirty kind of boy off the streets. So we definitely 
I hope and pray that somebody somewhere out there can recognize this criminal element and pass on the information to whom you think is more fitting to get it. This dirty boy need to be taken off the streets ASAP. Yeah, man. Now, on a sad note, my peeps, over there in the parish of Hanover, boy, may I tell you, say, Hanover definitely not going good in recent times, especially a section known as Green Island. Now, this 18 year old girl presently on your screen, who has since been identified as Tasia Hall who was reported missing on Saturday the 25th of March, has been found lifeless in a section of the parish known as Marchtown, Kilmarnock in Hanover. A search party which included the police and residents began searching the area from Wednesday. They were in search of the 18-year-old, who is also the mother of a 3-year-old. However, the search proved challenging due to heavy vegetation. Wolipa bush bush they all about. But yesterday evening, her naked body was discovered in the afternoon in a state of decomposition. The Green Island Police is presently investigating this gruesome find. So we are going to hear from a relative of the now deceased as she gives her grim recollection of when she went missing. Listen. I see my daughter at 9 p.m. on Saturday night. And then my son inside and he called me. My son called me and he said, I said to myself, my sister wanted to talk to me, so I talked to her. And she said to me, say, Mommy, how you reach up? I don't call me. I said, nothing. Then after she said, I got my baby. Sunday, 7 15 p.m., my son called me and said, A.M. And my son called me and said, Mommy, he said, Yeah, call sister. He said, Why? Sister not come in. He said, Why? Sister not come in. He leaves him and he sneezes in the house of After that, I call her and I can't get her. Really, really sad situation, my peeps. But on a brighter note, even though it's a really sad, really sad event to lose a child in such a way. The superintendent of police in charge of the Hanover Police Division, Sharon Beeput, stated that two men have been detained for questioning in connection with the loss of life of the 18-year-old girl. She gone left a three-year-old child. So you know, say boy, trust me, that rough. Telling you know my peeps, say the streets of Jamaica is not no play business, you know. So we really need to take these things really serious. Because it now have to take a wake up call. The loss of life of a family member or a loved one for we understand say the streets are move grimy. And we have to be careful of the people and who or what we entertain. Now the last thing that we are going to talk about. Over there in the St. Andrew Central Police Division. Up a Barbican Deso. A youth end up losing three points. He's presently on your screen. Right now. He has since been identified by his alias. Trey. It is said that this man was brutally gunned down last night. And in the full view of a lot of people. A man known as Michael is allegedly his killer. So the Nakis and Clappis, known as Michael, is out there on the loose. So most definitely on the spot news media is going to put his boots on the ground to see what kind of information we can uncover and see if we can figure out who is Michael or even if Michael was the real Nakis and Clappis behind the last life of the youth named Trey. So definitely we are going to do a follow up on this one and definitely bring it to you in subsequent newscast. So my peeps, another bloody weekend again. Boy, I may I tell you, these criminal elements in Jamaica never ever cease to amaze. 
So as always, my peeps, continue to look out on the corner of your Kaswa. The old dirty corner boy them. Always out there. Alerts. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.